Hello everyone, I'm Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So from today's video, I'm actually going to start with Django REST framework. So till now we were we were doing all theoretical parts, okay? And I have just shown you how JSON data looks like on browser, okay? So firstly, let me clear you one more thing that this is not appropriate way to create API. Okay, this is just a simple method in which we are doing this like we are getting data from the database creating the dictionary and passing it to json in order to render those dictionaries data into json okay but this is not appropriate way and this whole thing is very manual method okay no one does like this right so there are some set of rules and some set of uh, you know fundamentals which you need to perform to get uh, data automatically render it into json automatically that is known as serialization and deserialization so firstly let me explain you serialization so steps for serialization is that first we you know fetch all the objects like this type of objects from the database in a complex data type okay all the objects in the database is complex data type right and then we serialize those data and convert it into python dictionary and then that dictionary is been rendered on a browser in json form okay so this is the process of serialization and all these things is been done automatically for us okay uh, we will see how we can you know do that in next lecture but for now let us understand theoretically okay and second is deserialization so let me explain you that uh, deserialization is performed when you you know want to put the data into database like want to create any object in the database so if i am creating my account on any website okay that is known as sending object to database to store your information okay at that time we perform deserialization so at that time we send our data as in a json form okay and that data is been passed as a dictionary in a python i mean it is been converted into dictionary and that dictionary is been converted I mean it it is been deserialized and converted into complex data type and that is been stored in database okay I hope that makes sense for you okay so these were the two main concept which I need to teach you okay and we are going to remove this both code okay we although we will keep these functions but we will remove this code this and this in next lecture not now okay now you know let me open website of Django REST framework. I say Django REST framework. So from this tutorial, we are going to learn each and every concept. Okay, this tutorial and API guard, we will see every concept, how we can throttle, what is request, response, views, etc. Each and everything. Okay, and uh, before that. You know let us install django rest framework and set up our python i mean our django project so i'll just you know copy this command which says pip install django rest framework if you have followed my videos then you will be having django rest framework installed okay what's my environment env and I will say enter so requirement already satisfied because I have installed this package already and uh, we don't need to install this both package we will install later then I will just copy this Django I mean rest underscore framework not Django I will paste it in installed apps so we need to go to settings.py I will just copy and I will go to settings.py okay I'll hide the terminal and I will paste that over here. After that, I need to copy this path and I will go to urls.py which is in project level directory and I will just paste that path over here. I think we have done this set. Okay, 
now let it be like this in next video we will create a serialization and we will see that how we can fetch all the objects using serializer and all these things is done manually and you can use one particular serializer multiple times we will see all those things and i will guide you through this whole rest api thing in django right so just stick with this tutorial and i hope you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you